Good evening, everyone. A history-making Michigan Tech athlete is the Western Collegiate Hockey Association Offensive Player of the Week. Number seven, Reed Sturos, earns the recognition for a goal that, according to NCAA rules, doesn't count in the official statistics, but right there, it goes down as the first regular season double overtime game winner in WCHA history. Playing in the first ever three-on-three -three overtime, the senior from Brighton, Michigan, buried the winner against Alabama Huntsville, give Michigan Tech the extra league point after a 1-1 tie and a five-point weekend out of six overall. Sturos also helped the Huskies to a 7-3 win in the series opener. Tech travels the University of Michigan this weekend. Lake Superior State's Owen Hedrick is a co-defensive player of the week. All five Northern Michigan University Olympic training site Greco-Roman wrestlers who competed in the Eduardo Campbell Cup in Panama City, Panama, came home with medals. Dalton Roberts of Fowlerville, Michigan, won the gold medal at the 130-pound class after taking bronze a year ago. Corey Fitzgerald earned silver at 165, as did Zachary Bickford at 175, and two others came home with bronze medals, Andrew Ibarra at 130 and David Prado at 165 pounds. Superior Central over Mid Peninsula 3 to 1, Dollar Bay hangs on to beat you in Trout Creek 3 2, and Western County 3, Norway 2. In high school cross country, the Marquette County Relays took place in Marquette, hopefully missing all the rain. Nagani won the boys team title by five points over Ishpeming with Marquette third. Miners Colton Yesney and Thomas Ziegler won in just over 30 minutes. On the girls side, Marquette wins followed by Nagani and Ishpeming and the Miners Emily Papour and Clara Johnson won in a time over just 35 minutes.